with the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Hello, gamer Nom is back. And for this short video, I am going to showcase the soul fruit. So, guys, I am going to tell you everything you need to know in this soul fruit. So, just sit back and relax. So, let's talk about the most important thing it's his skills. So, gamer Nom, is it worth it? You're about to find out. First off, guys, you will see the souls here on the skill part. There you go. There are three souls. So, how do you use it? Guys, this souls is connected to the first skill, which is the soul snatcher. So you will use this skill to get souls. That is the first thing. So we're gonna use it. So for the soul snatcher, you will damage your enemy, stun it, and get one soul. Okay, one soul. As you can see, we already have four souls by now. The cooldown is not bad. So guys, every time you use it, you will get a soul. Guys, the maximum souls that you can get is nine. Okay, so again, how do you use it, gamer knob? Guys, you can click anywhere in your screen to use one of your souls. Okay, so if you click it, a random soul will appear. First up is this, the lollipop or other, uh, what do you call this? Guys, this one heals you. Okay, this one heals you. So it's random. So far, I have summoned three types. This is the first one. So again, every click in the screen, you will summon a soul. There you go. So let's try summoning again. Okay, so let's click. Oh, another one guys this is the same so again i'm telling you it's random oh that's the third one so guys this tree stuns and damages the enemy see that guys so let's wait for it to attack again see that every time uh, it stuns it also damages the enemy so now we have a healer soul and a stun that damages the enemy a little bit so let's try okay this is one is the third one the flower so this Flower damages the enemy. I think it's poison type. So there you go. DPS. See, as you can see, it is damaging the enemy. And that's it, guys. So every time you use your soul snatcher, you will get a soul and you can use it to summon souls. Okay, again, I've shown you three types that you can summon. Okay, I hope that's clear. So next up, we still have four skills. You've seen the first skill a while ago, the Sky Ruler at 75 Mastery, right? 75 mastery you can fly so now we're gonna try the wrath of Ra. okay so guys you don't need souls to use this this is a fire type skill there you go dps i think this skill has the highest damage check it out almost half hp of this mob not bad one more time so this is still similar to uh the we call this the flame pillar right fire pillar in king legacy there you go really looks cool next up guys the outrage region so now we've seen the fo uh the fire right now you're gonna see the lightning there you go okay so guys i i prefer the wrath of Ra, or there's something that i don't know that i haven't used it properly there you go so next up guys for the uh, what do you call this? The fourth skill, we have the end of times. This is one of the coolest skills so far. Coolest. Check it out. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> I think this skill has an OP damage. So, what do you think, guys? Comment it at the comment section. But, Gamer no, we've noticed something. There's a meter. Yes, there's a meter under the souls, right? Souls. There's a meter. So, I'm going to show you how it works. And guys, in the comment section, maybe you can help me. So first off, guys, every time you use a skill, it depends if it's the Wrath of Raw, the fire, the meter will go to the left side, okay? See that? So if it's Outrage Raging, it will go back to the right. So what happens, Gamer Nom, if you use keep on using the Wrath of Raw, what will happen? Guys, I think, I think, okay, aside from the, uh, what do you call this? Your clouds or your pets will change. See that, guys? Check the cloud now. It's color right. So mostly, I think the energy went to the right side, right? To the sun. And if you keep using the outrage raging, then the blue cloud, uh, the white cloud, will turn into blue and the dark, dark blue or or purple. See that? Check the face. Now, guys, let's check the damage. This is the damage of the wrath of Ra, guys. You see that there's 862 damage. Because I really don't know if your damage will really increase. Now guys, check it out. One more time. Now this is like the neutral. As you can see, 
the damage is almost the same. So I really don't uh, understand yet or is there something to it? Comment it on the comment section. So guys, just a reminder for those maybe disappointed, there are three parts of the update, right? So this is just the first part, first update. I mean, first part of the update. So there will be upcoming updates, maybe on the next few weeks. I'm not sure of this. But guys, again, the Sand Fruit Awaken, the Dough Fruit Awaken, they will be adding those things. Not just in this first part of the update, but maybe on the second or the third, okay? There are other things to update. I think it's, uh, what do you call this? New Sword, right? And the uh, max level, 2,200. So I'm leveling up an account now. Level 1 to 700, Soul Fruit, wait for that, okay? So again, guys, See you on my next video. I will just play this game more and unlock some things to give you more tips, okay? So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. See you on my next video. And GamerNom out. Enjoy Update 17.